Fellas, today we're going to be talking about Iron Banner for Season of the Plunder. Two things we're going to be covering. Number one, the new game mode Eruption, which by the way is a lot of fun. And number two, we're going to also talk about how to optimize an Iron Banner in terms of getting reputation gains and getting weapons. Had a lot of people in the stream today ask Cross, where are the bounties? How do I get pinnacles? Well, if you took off last season, I completely understand why you might be confused right now. Couple things on that front. Number one, there is no more bounties. And number two, everything is going to be based around your reputation gains in order order to actually get Iron Banner Ingrams, which you can then focus it for Iron Banner weapons. The cost is egregious, but we'll get to that in a moment. First, let's talk about Eruption. This is a new game mode, similar to what Rift was last season for Iron Banner, and it's essentially Clash, or at least it starts off as Clash, and then the game mode definitely morphs into Mayhem, but it's like strategic Mayhem, which is why back in the TWA when they discussed it, it was originally called Streak Mayhem. During Eruption though, as you're killing your opponents, you're scoring points and gaining normal amounts of energy toward all your abilities. But when you get your second elimination in a row without dying, you start to become surging. And you'll notice because your guardian will actually start to have a glow around them. Kills will start to generate 10% more super energy, as well as 20% more grenade, melee, and class energy. You also start to get two points per kill. And then upon getting your fifth kill without dying, which by the way, can be assists, you become primed. Now this is when you grow incredibly brightly. Your team goes on the hunt and everyone on the team gains 5% super, 10% grenade, melee and class energy and you now actually gain 12% super 40% grenade melee and class energy so you can see here where eruption originally starts off as like clash and then it just greatly morphs into chaotic mayhem by the way you gain three points per kill while primed now a couple things happen while primed number one you get a 15 second timer on you if that timer does reach zero as in you don't get a kill you will erupt now the good thing is you won't kill your teammates around you erupting just kills you but it does reset your streak and ends the hunt now I'm pretty sure sure you can also reset your eruption timer by also getting an assist. So as long as you and your team are moving together, you can keep eruption time up at all times, which is very important as that's contributing to everyone's ability energy and of course supers. Now while you are primed, you are marked for both your team and your enemies. And the other team will actually get three points for killing you. And where things really start to get crazy is when more than one player gets primed. That means essentially double the energy here guys, or at least from my experience. And this can go both ways. You can have multiple people primed on either side and you've got folks essentially balancing whether or not they should help defend their teammate that's primed or go in for the attack now like regular crucible you get maybe like one super per game maybe two eruption be prepared guys if you do this right and take advantage of being primed and of course defending your prime teammates you'll get three four supers no problem which is why certain roaming supers are so good here hammers is pretty good golden gun was exceptionally good considering how long it can last there is so many ways to get seventh columns in eruption when you really start to get the ball rolling here overall really like the game mode guys it's a lot of fun it's a different take and i know a lot of people are like yo this is so ability spammy i would just prefer an iron banner game mode that was just weapons now who's to say that won't happen right it's very likely bungie might do something like that in the future maybe even next season where we have a game mode that's just focused on weapons no abilities by the way if you hear that noise in the background that is actually a massive thunderstorm rolling through so essentially guys the goal is to get prime get five kills or assists in a row and once you do you want to wait get your team around you move as a unit stay alive and once you get your super pop it like you really do want to just immediately pop it because you're going to be getting kills and ability energy back while you're primed very very fast on top of that while you're primed you're getting three points per kill don't let the score deceive you here guys it's crazy how quickly you can come back in this game mode now moving on to loot weapons and of course how to optimize for iron banner this week if you're trying to go for the side armor rocket launcher or pretty much anything else for those wondering cross how do we get pinnacles you get those by simply doing the weekly iron banner challenges which you can view while hovering over iron banner in the director now there's a total of four weekly challenges but they only become available each day the days actually complete three games on on the arc or stasis subclasses and once you do that you will get your pinnacle ingram now if you don't complete today's challenge don't worry because the challenges are always available to be completed tomorrow's will unlock and you'll still be able to complete today's and so on and so forth now the more challenges you have done the more reputation you'll gain from completing iron banner matches and you can actually view all of these boosts on the left side of your screen when you're clicking into Iron Banner. There's actually an icon that shows your rank boosts. Now, the boosts are account wide, but the challenges are available on each character. So, for example, if you did a challenge on one character, you could still complete that challenge or that same challenge on your other characters for another pinnacle drop. But a difference this season is that the boosts are account wide. So, if you only complete today's challenge on one character, you'll still have one completed challenge boost listed on your other characters. And if you complete today's challenge on more than one character, you're still only going to have one completed challenge. I know last 
last season, we were able to get around this where we actually did a challenge on each character and it would actually count towards that total, allowing us to get like two or three out of four in the first day. But Bungie has since fixed that. It's a bit confusing and weird, but that's just how it works now, guys, which means you're going to have to play all four days to unlock the full boost for those reputation gains, which really does make a difference here. Now, in order to really get the most out of this, you ideally want to have either five pieces of Iron Banner armor on or at least the ornaments. And you can actually double up here if you just want to wear four pieces with Iron Banner ornaments and then have like one Iron Banner armor piece. But then you can slap on another Iron Banner ornament on top of that Iron Banner armor piece. And what this will actually allow is for your Iron Banner gear equipped to count for two instead of just one. The idea here is to get the max on all of these. So essentially have four pieces of gear, each of them with an Iron Banner ornament on, and one of those pieces of gear actually be a piece of Iron Banner armor with an ornament on it. Now, another way to satisfy this is by rocking not only Iron Banner ornaments, but you can also rock Iron Banner weapons. So if you have like an Iron Banner heavy or the new sidearm or pretty much any weapon, that also counts for one, which will contribute to that Iron Banner gear equipped. You also want to be rocking an Iron Banner emblem. Now, the reputation gains that you get from this is pretty substantial. Currently right now, which is one of the challenges completed and five out of five on my Iron Banner gear equipped, as well as an emblem, I was getting roughly 105 reputation per win. But again, this is going to go up every single day you complete one of these challenges. Now, the reason why reputation gains is so important is because as you get reputation, you unlock Iron Banner Ingrams. And you can then take these Iron Banner Ingrams and essentially turn them into Saladin for either a random chance of an Iron Banner weapon or piece of armor, or you can actually focus loot things. So considering that the sidearm is new, every time I get one of these Iron Banner Ingrams, I'm obviously going to be focusing toward allied demand. Now, the cost is pretty high. And for like a new light player or even a new player in general, this is pretty egregious in my opinion. 20,000 Glimmer and 100 Legendary Shards. It is by no means cheap, but it is a way for you to target loot these items, thus mitigating those RNG issues. But as the week goes on, reputation gains will get high enough where you'll be actually getting an Iron Banner Ingram very, very quickly, almost to the point that you probably won't be able to focus loot them every single time because it's just burning up too many materials. So you can just turn them in for RNG drops. Also throughout this process, you'll be ranking up, which will unlock the sidearm first after that powerful gear item, the rocket launcher, then onto the hand cannon, the fusion rifle, Wizard and Rebuke, and Hero's Burden, the SMG, which I actually never got a god roll for. Now, one other big change here about Iron Banner weapons in general and why I think they're better now than ever is that they come with the origin trait Skulking Wolf, which says that while at low health, Guardian Final Blows of this weapon grant enhanced radar and remove you from opposing radar. Now, this was not the original trait's intention. It used to only work inside of Iron Banner and it was not a good trait. Bungie actually reworked this. This works in all of Crucible, thus making it a much more desirable perk. So guys, that is your Iron Banner this week. My final warning is you may want to grind Iron Banner. It only comes twice a season. It seems to shock people, man. They're like, yo, where the hell is Iron Banner? Twice a season, fellas. I would prefer three times at least. But again, the thing about Iron Banner when it comes, Bungie doesn't allow trials to be in the same week as Iron Banner. So if you're hunting some good rolls of these Iron Banner weapons, you only have two times to go for that. And of course, go for that Iron Banner seal. So guys, good luck. Have fun inside of Eruption. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this game mode. It's a different twist. I actually think it's being better received than that of Rift. It's chaotic, it's fun. And even though I'm playing inside of Freelance, I can definitely see myself jumping in with the team and having a really good time getting primed and playing off of one another. It's got some level of strategy to it and actually makes you think. We're also going to be gathering God Rolls for the sidearm. And if you happen to have a God Roll, feel free to come by our Discord. Let me know. My RNG has just been pooping on me, but I definitely want to try this one out because it could be a huge competitor against the likes of Drang, which I know sounds crazy considering how meta Drang actually is. Regardless though, we'll be reviewing it and a review for that will be out first thing tomorrow. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.